So to catch you up, we have stripped the van off its walls and its floor, and we did sweep the floor, which was covered in so much dirt, screws, nails, bolts, spiders. spiders. Pretty sure I saw a snake skin. But the dust was unbelievable. So today we're gonna be doing a general clean from the inside, so cleaning any rust and sticking us on the walls, wheel arches, and generally preparing it for the rusting, which will be the next stage. <laughs> We're gonna start with the uh, jet and see what it can lift off. There's some dirt around here that we just need some proper scrubbing to get off. And then we're gonna try some steel clean detergent thingy to basically try and get some of this abrasion off. I'm spraying the van. You're spraying my feet. But well, you are cleaning my shoes. spray inside the hole. Why? Because I don't want water going down there. <laughs> Neither are me. Alright, so what happened here, when we were cleaning the step, some of the jet was sprayed over here and what happened is it turned out that the, the paint here was actually, there was some rust underneath. So simple jet motion just actually lifted off the paint here, but not here. It didn't do anything there, so this paint's fine. So we're gonna let the jet kind of chip off this sort of paint, then we're gonna hammer ride it. Honestly, this seal here, yeah. see that? That probably needs to be changed. You got the camera wet again! You're the one filming, you just say spray, you don't say how hard. Aha. Uh -huh. I'll go and clean it again. Honestly. I think we need to remove this step. I agree. Check I'll it. get the screwdriver. I have a feeling it's going to be these plastic things here that I'm going to have to pry off and there'll be a screw underneath or something. Classic. There we go. So it's just a plastic plug. It's not actually a screw. Huh. And it goes in that away. Oh. Clips. Yeah, it clips around the, the door latches. All right, careful. Yeah. So you just carefully unlatch it from there. Tug. Yay! Uh, that. Ugh. Oh. Hold on. It was that bolt holding it down. Which bolt? That one there. This one? Yeah, that one. That is whooping the dirty. You know, if someone had given the van to us in this condition, like removed the panels and you can see all the rust and the dirt, it's a lot less appealing than with plywood on, isn't it? Yeah, but that's okay. Yeah. This is not too bad. to do that for all of that.
interesting truth about what we're doing right now. Sometimes, you know, uh, people are giving this to do as punishment, you know, scrub with a, something with a toothbrush or, you know, a small metal scourer. And we have chosen to do it willingly. <laughs> also, no shoes. gunky stuff here it's not metal it's not rust if we use the plastic card it will come off thing is it's important to use plastic on this because if you use anything metal you're gonna gouge the metal of the van no matter how much you gouge this card into the metal work here it's not gonna damage the metal because plastic is weaker than metal sorry <laughs> I wasn't paying attention <laughs> I'm all wet. Look, I'm all wet. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. I look like it walk on my floor and it's not sticking to me. The floor is looking a lot cleaner. We were resorting to possibly leaving it the way it was until we found those scourers. But now that we've exposed quite a lot of raw metal and there's a lot of rust everywhere, we need to get on to fixing that. So that includes sanding, priming, painting and filling the holes. So subscribe for the next episode of this van build and we'll catch you de-rusting.